Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for the road trip. I'm on the way to Community Stadium. It's very early, by the way. As you may know, it's a 12 o'clock kickoff here in the UK. So an early drive up there. Um, my feelings and emotions around this game right now, I'm actually quite nervous. I'm quite nervous for this game. And it's really weird because the last road trip I did was to Old Trafford. And I was excited. I was, I was edging on confident. I'm going to be honest. I was excited to see a, a, a big game between two big sides. And I felt confident we'd get the job done from the previous performance I've seen of Arsenal. But today's one, I'm nervous. And that's probably because one reason definitely is because all week or the past two weeks, fans have been coming up to me, especially United fans, saying, ah, oh, you lost to us and giving it all the jib and all, all the, the mockery. And I, my response was, yeah, but we're top of the league. Yeah, but we're top of the league. All right, cool, you can do it. Okay, whatever, but we're top of the league. Now, that could change after today. So that is probably one reason why I'm nervous. A second reason is Brentford have been on pretty good form. Um... I remember the game against Leeds that Ivan Tony kind of stole the show. A player that I'm very much fearful of. He obviously dinked the keeper. That was a great goal, by the way. And then he's obviously scored a penalty. And a record of Ivan Tony is he's only missed one penalty in his career. So someone to be fearful of. He's a player that I know is going to be thriving and ready for this game. Just got the England call up. Going to be buzzing. He definitely watched the All or Nothing documentary and saw um, Mikel Arteta put up the tweet um, for, for that game as well. So he, he, he's going to be... He's going to be very much up for it, knowing that all eyes are going to be on him. He knows he's a player in form. He has that kind of arrogance about him. So I, I know he's going to be a player that we have to be fearful of. And, and rightly so, he, he's, he's earned that respect. Um, a player I actually would have liked to have seen at Arsenal. Um, but yeah, it'll be an interesting game. Hopefully we can keep him quiet. Obviously, William Saliba at the back. I don't know if Gabriel or Ben White is going to play alongside him um, due to Ben White being fit. And I've, I've, I've had my thoughts and feelings that I think of Ben White, ben White should be his partner uh, for this match but you may disagree you let me know in the comments that would be interesting also they have they have all other strong players the likes of Wissa I've really liked him so far um, and then Buemo as well what a player last season I actually thought he was one of their their key players I actually thought he was at a period better than Ivan Tony at one point but now obviously Ivan Tony started seeing so well he is the man that everyone's talking about but they have a lot of attacking attacking problems I think Arsenal going to have to deal with but we have we have players of our own. Gabriel Jesus on tremendous form. Um, Martinelli, fire, Saka. You know how much of a fan I am of Bakaya Saka. We have our own attacking problems that Benford are gonna have to deal with. Now, Robbie said something to me very interesting during the week. He was like, we always focus on, on the players that are missing for Arsenal and, and, and all get, get ourselves in a frenzy, like, oh no. We haven't got our full strength side, but other teams have injuries as well. Brentford actually have a lot of missing players um, in this game. So that kind of gives me a little bit more confidence. You guys notably will know about um, Emil Smith-Rowe. Sadly, he got a groin injury. Hopefully he returns very soon. I feel for him. I don't want him to be labelled as an injury-prone player because he is so effective and has so much talent. So I wish him a speedy recovery. And I know he'll be gutted to not be involved. Um, so I hope, I hope he returns very soon. Um, but yes, they, listen, we have Mohamed Elneny out as well and Reese Nelson. So we haven't got massive, massive doubts. Zinchenko is also a doubt as well. So we might, we'll probably see Kieran Tierney today. But I still think we have a strong enough side to get the job done. I don't think that they are they are major, major players um, that are going to be out. So hopefully we can get the job done. Now, it's time to kind of give you my score prediction. I, I do want to say, though, they have Sergio Canos returning. Obviously, he scored against us in that 2-0 win in the first game of the season. But it's time for revenge. This is, this is time for revenge. I'm tired of thinking about last season. We had players out. We had COVID players. We had, we had injured, injured players as well. We don't have that this time. So I'm going with, a, as much as I said I was nervous, I'm going with a confident 3-1 to Arsenal. Right? I expect Brentford to score. Um, and it's probably going to be Ivan Tony. But I expect us to get the job done. I know a lot of fans have been saying 2-1, 1-1. They have doubts. But we need to win this game for the fact that we're going into international break. And after that, we have a difficult run of games. So I want the boys to go out there full of confidence. Go get the job done. A 3-1 for me from Arsenal. Let's not get stung by the bees. Let's go make it right and get revenge for what happened at the start of the season, last season. And the best way to end this video, as always, I'm not going to do the Robbie saying, but I'm going to go with, let's do this. Come on, you gunners. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.